show you how to create E-Class record and auto grading system with transmuted grids. Okay, let's start. We should separate male and female students. Female. We put the number here. Series. Just put one, then hold control. We'll put some series now. Again, just put one, then hold your control the cable, then drag to the right. So you see it's thin. This is also series now. Then let's do this. Then we'll put here our criteria the highest highest possible score so this is the highest possible score for our students Then we put a high school here. Let's see 10, 10, 10, and 20. And we'll adjust here. Then we put here total. Then we'll put here PS or percentage score here and here we put total PS and we put our criteria here see the value is for weighted score here here the weighted score and this one PS is per percentage score. Then we'll make this one. Then I will adjust this one. And we'll make the number. Some decimal to decimal. So now we have our highest possible score here 10, 10, 20. And we have PS or percentage score. We put here 100. Adjust. Say 30%. 30% we did score for this area. So this one will make this one as category 
as a here. Criteria is 30 percent for written works. We make it. We will merge this thing. So this is our written works. We make it this one. Bold. Sum for our highest possible score or HPS in eight interval. So this is our total for highest possible score. Now we will put some dummy student. So now we have a criteria, complete criteria for this one. So this area I will hide it. So this area here, this cell I mean, this is the entries for the row score per student. Here, let's say the row score is 5, let's say 6, let's say 5, we put here 6, 17. Here. So, however, if you show here, there is our highest possible score, wherein our row score should be based on this one, not more than the highest possible score. Example, 21, this one is wrong because our highest possible score is 20 only. So how to restrict to avoid wrong entries? Example, if I put 21, this should be a validation to show you that your entry is wrong. So we will put some data validation in order to restrict for any wrong entries. So now we will make some validation. First, just put your cursor here and go to data, then data validation here and allow value so we will choose whole number so we'll uncheck this one ignore blank whole number now this area 
we should put some validation that we cannot in enter more than our highest possible score example 10 so it should be restricted if we will type 11 so we will make some validation here data so we'll choose since we will put only not more than our highest possible score so we will choose less than or equal to meaning less than our highest possible score or the same our possible score by the same highest possible score meaning 20 we can import 20 or less than 20 so we choose less than equal so now we will put our reference here so we will choose this one this highest possible score here look this is column F row 10 then H ok so now we have a data validation look if I will type 9 it's ok if I type 10 also it's ok but look if I type 11 look what happened and hit enter this showing user has restrict, restricted value that can be entered into the cell so because we are restricting more than our highest possible score so we can say if I copy this one here our body issue and hit enter if I type 11 look still we cannot make it 11 here. if I copy also here if I type 11 so it gets restricted so now we will modify our here modify our message error message again if I type 11 here it's showing the value you entered is not valid so we will modify this message how again just select this one then go to data validation then here in our error alert here we will put input number less than or equal the HPS or the highest possible score and will hit just here hit ok now I will copy this formula learners row entry entries C we copy one here I will delete this one then I will put again the sample row score here type 13 it's showing an error if I put 21 it will show it also an error so now we have a restriction for this student row score entry set here now 
we will calculate the percentage score by students here so how we just only type equal then here select this total of these students number one then divide the total highest possible score so now we will put here open parenthesis and here also close parenthesis because we need to calculate this one based on our percentage score which is 100 percent here then hit in we need to adjust the we make this one make this one is number now we need to adjust the decimal into two here Now, if I copy this one here and hit enter, so we have an error. Why? Because our reference is this one, the, the total highest possible score is going down here instead of row 10. Now, let's choose row 11. And also, our percentage score which is 100 percent it's also goes down that's why it's giving us a wrong answer so now we will modify first we'll make this one as an absolute reference here we will put the dollar sign so that our column P this one our absolute reference and now also we will make this one this P10 this one our total highest possible score we will make this one an absolute reference Instead of only one dollar, we will make this one. We'll put some dollar here, and we will put also dollar in between here. Again, instead of manually, we can we can make also here. Again, I will put dollar. Okay. Just highlight this one and press F four. So this is the absolute reference. But now, if I copy this one, look, chewing here, correct, even we'll put copy here, down, it's chewing also, our row is correct, our row reference is correct, and here is correct, but the problem here, that's why it's zero, because this 100%, if I copy this formula down it will go down also so again we will take this percentage score as an absolute reference also how just highlight this one and press f4 so it's showing there is a dollar sign here before column letter and one dollar sign also in between column and row number then hit enter i advise to check my other videos regarding the three types of absolute reference in order to understand more regarding the absolute references 
So just copy this one and we will hit enter. So now we have a calculation which is correct here. If you will press F2, look our reference is total and percentage score, highest percentage score. Then look now if we will put here another sample here look it's showing input number less than or equal is wrong even though we put six here here it coming wrong now there is a problem I will show you how to fix the problem or what is the problem Again, if I select this one, I will delete first this one. If I select this one and go to data, and we will check our data validation here, we put only F10. So we should make this one as an absolute reference for this row 10. So we will put here, here, uh, dollar sign if you referring for the row ref, absolute reference here this is the row so we will put here dollar sign beside this row number if you are referring also for the column so whatever the column it is here example here again I put if you are referring to the column, you will put here beside the column later, dollar sign. So now we will put our absolute reference based on our column 10 here, or row 10. I will put the dollar sign and hit OK. And now if I will copy this one. Again, if I will type 6, if I type 6 here, no error. If I type 13, it's showing error. So now, our formula here for data validation is correct. We will just only copy here. And also, we will copy all our data validation. So now, if I type here, 11 look it's coming error if i type 21 look it's also an error again i will type again our row score i will put this one sample data here let's say 8 5 I mistakenly write 35. Now, if we don't have data validation, so our calculation will come. So now we put 9, say 5, and I type 51 again, so So now we have a breakout, and we have this calculation for our percentage score by students now we will also calculate the weighted score based on our 30 percent criteria for written works so now we will calculate so how just put our cursor here equal this one so we will make this one as our absolute reference this Q column Q will put the other sign then times our weighted score so we will make this one as an absolute reference 
Just highlight this one, then F4. Then hit enter. Now, you just only cap. So we have a complete calculation for our retail works.